Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 2, episode 11 of Rain Girlfriend. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Nope. 3, 2, 1, go. Now the second time that's funny. This is a cute baby! He's so cute! Girl, I can't even wake up at 4 a.m. Do you, I, I go to bed at 4 a.m. Cute. Oh, my God, she's so adorable. So adorable. Okay, can I say something real quick? Just seeing, like, <laughs> Chizuru and Sumi together and the way the dynamic looks between them, they kind of remind me, and I'm going to... Okay, this is spoilers to Persona 5 Royal. If you don't want to hear it, keep going. If you do, uh, just sit and listen. All right, so in a weird way, like, Chizuru kind of reminds me of Kasumi Samurai. Kasumi gives me, like, okay, no, let me do it. Chizuru gives me the Kasumi vibe. She's very confident, upbeat, happy, and stuff. What Samire wanted to truly be. And Sumi is the real Samire. And it's like that. She's, like, she's so blushy. She's shy. I mean, come on. If you've done the confidant for. Samire, and you see like the rest, not the first five where she's pretending to be Kasumi, but the last five, you see it and it's there and it's just so freaking adorable. I mean, I love her so much. Like, she's mm, Kasumi, Samire is like now my second best girl because Haru is still my number one and I love her so much. And, but like, Kasumi, Samire, so cutie, cutie patootie. Protect her. Like, she's just so freaking adorable. <laughs> oh my god! I can now see why they put it as Libra for her because she's going to be in a way. Fucking cute. I can't her. Mm -hmm. Take the lead. Take the lead. Oh, hey, 
Hey, mommy. How you doing, boo? Oh, she's so nervous. Well, I'm gonna bring her confidence out. <laughs> That's something I would do. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, you know what? At least she's trying, though. A for effort. <laughs> she's just nervous. She should try something else, but I mean, this is about you bringing her confidence out. Thank God it's not to a point where she can't be around like crowd of people or something. She's just so precious, like, oh my god. Oh my god, don't be an ass and leave her there. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. get your ass out there and do something. Oh, oh, Sammy! Oh, <laughs> I died. 
Oh, you want him to have some? You poor baby. You got this. Go on, no, no, no. I mean, honestly, yeah, me so how to kick your ass. Hey, mommy. I'm just here, you know. Stay friends. <laughs> Stay friends. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Sumi! You'll be okay. Mommy just gonna talk to him real quick. Well, I mean, of course. Oh, mommy! Oh. Why do I feel like mommy's just gonna go home and cry about this? I mean, she ain't going on Twitter to vent like she normally does, but, um. See, look how empty her eyes look. Mm -hmm. 
But still, it was fun. Oh shit, she gonna find out. Oh ho. Mm -hmm. She is oh my god. Oh she gonna use that. She gonna blackmail him. She gonna blackmail him. Speaking of which, Yeah, but you're slowly bringing her out of her comfort zone for her to branch out and be more confident in herself. <clears throat> Seriously. Really, it's not up to him. Oh. 
Oh, but so we we talking about we forgetting mommy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it makes sense since I think we have like what one more episode left with the show. I'm not fucking surprised because she <laughs> oh. <laughs> you done fucked up now. Mommy was with the man the whole entire time. Oh my god, I can't. Bruh, what, what is she gonna say to do with you? She might, mm, she might tell her everything, and I mean everything, everything, like, in the end, freaking mommy might say, hey, you know what, go ahead and, like, you know, this little situation that you have with Kazu, shut that shit down, and, I mean, because now she's kind of really only doing, doing this to get back with Kazu, yeah, because she still has feelings. Kazuya, I get it, but like, oh, for a wait for mommy return to like mm, 10 out of 10. Because still, like, so the past few episodes of not having her in the show felt so freaking weird. And I'm like, however, she's gonna come back, she's gonna come back with like a bang and a vengeance right there. <laughs> oh. I don't even know what else to say about that. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this now. Even though next week is the last episode, we need a season two. Depending on how in the world this last episode is gonna end next week, I mean, uh, I just I need it. I I really need a season two. I just want to know the conversation of Cheesy and Mommy, how that's gonna go. Um. Making me still wonder, is Sumi also going to be in this next episode? Was she just one and done for this episode? Because she she is an important character, but it just feels weird because she's now finally made a... a, a uh, I can't speak. An introduction in this episode, and we're getting ready to go into the final episode, even though she's in the preview speaking. And she ain't in the preview episode. <laughs> But the final episode, Rook is there, and Mommy's gonna be there, of course, and so is Chizuru, so Suzu, uh, Sumi should be there just in case. It's like, Sumi, oh my god, she was so freaking adorable in this episode. I mean, I can now see why so many people like her so much and stuff, because she's just this cute, shy, adorable child woman 
who is just adorable, you just want to protect her. Like, she just deserves the world and everything. She's so freaking precious. And you want to just, if an asshole comes to her, you just want to go ahead and be like, da -da 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 -da, and just shoot everybody. Because it's like, no, I will literally kill you for this girl because she's just so damn precious. And you don't want anything to happen to her. You don't want some a-hole to freaking harm the crap out of her. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. She's just too freaking cute. Like, oh my god. And even though, like, in this episode, she barely really has a speaking role i think her va is doing a really good job on her but because of the fact that she's so very shy and afraid to speak you only get maybe like a one word sentence or just one sentence but she's so like oh my god i think they're selling a figure of her, of her possibly i kind of want it now I, I think like as of watching a uh, 11 going on 12 episodes i think i'm not like I don't think I'm like her. I think I'm more a little bit of Cheese View and Mommy mixed. <laughs> and then maybe like 5% is through me because sometimes I am shy. But, and it takes me a little while to warm up to someone. Especially because like if someone literally comes and is a little too overexcited and stuff, I'm like, mm mm. Mm -mm. I don't know about you yet. I'm like, we need a little more time until I can be like, yeah, I'm comfortable with you. But if you're just like cool with me and just say, hi, yada, yada, yeah, then I'll be full with you. <laughs> but she's so adorable. Like, oh my God. I just want a figure of her. I think I honestly want a figure of everybody except Kazuya. Don't make him into a figure, please don't. Mm -mm. I, I will. If they, if they do, I will literally set that thing on fire. But, you know what? Speaking of Kazuya, I mean, Kazuya was really nice in this episode. He wasn't what he typically was in the first half of this show. And it's like in the second half now, he's really more caring. His, emotion, his emotions are more there. He is more caring, sweet, and gentle. But I felt like Mm, because it makes me like literally i kind of want to read the manga right now just to see what happens next like if this is all a facade is he still going to be this asshole that he was from the first half of the show or is he still going to try to be this nice guy who really wants to change not only for himself but for really chizuru to be not the perfect boyfriend but to be a better guy than what he was at the beginning of this show and honestly, he is, but we ain't really gonna know to see how in the world this situation is gonna fully develop and solve and it's like that until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 11 of Renner Girlfriend. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the final episode. Bye, guys!